father died. My mom says we're just here to pick through the rubble of his life. Wait a minute. Who are you? Director Jason Reitman takes on his father's legacy with Ghostbusters Afterlife, crafting a film about family made by a family. That's what makes the newest entry into the Ghostbusters canon feel so special. In an age filled with reboots, remakes, and retreads, Afterlife masterfully balances that fine line between pleasing fans of the original and creating something wholly accessible and fun for new audiences. The story follows a single mother, Callie, played by Carrie Coon. Her life has been defined by the absence of her father, Harold Ramis' Egon Spangler. And after his death, she inherits his rural farmhouse in Somerville, Oklahoma. So she picks up her life and two kids, Finn Wolfhard's Trevor and McKenna Grace's Phoebe, and moves to the country. Their chemistry is the kind you rarely see in cinematic families. It's the glue that holds the film together and teases one of its greatest strengths, brilliant casting. Coon is her usual electric self as a harried mother of two, and Wolfhard shrugs off Stranger Things with an older and more assured classic Big Brother role, but Grace outshines them both. This is her movie. Phoebe is funny, weird, and unabashedly herself, and Grace is almost unnaturally watchable. There's no attempt to recreate her on-screen grandfather's mannerisms. Instead, Phoebe is her own brand of nerd, and she's wonderful. This is very much a film about this young girl finding herself through an unexpected connection with her family, so it's important important that Grace carries that weight well. That doesn't mean this is some melodramatic family drama, though. Reitman and co-writer Gil Keenan have crafted a cheeky, witty, well-paced, and heartfelt script that constantly delights. It has a gunner seat? Another one of its strengths is the tight-knit cast full of talented actors. Bokeem Woodbine shows up as the local sheriff, and Paul Rudd is at his Paul Ruddiest, and yes, that's a very good thing, as Gary Gruberson, the local summer school teacher. There are a few other unexpected new faces too, but we won't spoil those surprises. The real heart of the cast is the new young crew. Phoebe quickly befriends a kid named Podcast, played by Logan Kim, who's a total breakout. A hilariously nuanced yet well-played role, the keen child podcaster is a joy to watch, and Kim proves himself as a new comedic talent. Joining them is Trevor's crush, Celeste O'Connor's Lucky. Nicely dispelling the older mean girl trope, Lucky is an adventurous, quick-witted, and generous friend who the crew desperately needs. Amid all the family and friend dynamics, it's clear something is up from the moment we enter Somerville. Make no mistake, this is a Ghostbusters movie through and through, so there are supernatural shenanigans galore, and those spooky scares look good. A lot of the effects are practical rather than computer animated, which is an electrifying choice and fits well with the sun-drenched nostalgic summer look. Go, go, go! <laughs> That summer holiday adventure tone is amped up by Rob Simonson's magical score, which has a touch of John Williams' influence and almost sparkles as Phoebe explores her new home and discovers its secrets. Those secrets run deep and are at the heart of the movie. This is a film about family, forgiveness, and saving the world, but along the way, of course, there are puzzles, mysteries, and haunted mine shafts aplenty. In this way, Afterlife harkens back to the age of the Goonies, but with a thoroughly modern twist. As the burgeoning ghost hunters try to save their town and themselves, there are enough Easter eggs to make a grown man cry. But those who've never watched a Ghostbusters movie are still in for a very fun ride, filled with cool creature work and awesome action. Afterlife's riotous third act will not only have audiences crying, but also likely arguing about a couple of key moments. Still, it's all entirely earned. And make sure you stay for those post credit scenes. Yes, both of them. Director Jason Reitman does his father and fans proud with a funny, sweet, and spooky family movie that wonderfully takes on the legacy of Ghostbusters while also introducing something exciting and new. It helps that McKenna Grace is the kind of talent that only comes around once in a generation. Charming, authentic, and the beating heart of this already heartfelt movie. So get ready to fall in love with the Ghostbusters all over again. For more, check out our reviews of Venom, Let There Be Carnage, and The Harder They Fall. And for everything else, stick with IGN.